Yeah, new stuff. New stuff today. What is it? Again, I don't know. I get this a lot. It's like mystery bag. This one is surprisingly coming from somewhere in China. Hmm. Odd. Not really. Oh, actually it has a description on there, which is kind of cool. USB Bluetooth adapter. Donk. Oh, I'm guessing it's dongle. Something like that. Well, let's, let's take a look, shall we? If this is what I think it is, we'll do a quick what's in this bag. What's in the bag? And then we'll go see if we can get it to work. Because I have some things that this may be useful for. Yeah. Okay, so nice and easy bag. I'm just gonna uh, get into this. Simple little packaging, nothing overly exciting. Little foam wrapped around a box. I guess is I can just pull that out. Yep. What is this? What is this? It's a little box. And as you can see, I haven't opened it. So first time for you, first time for me. All good. Archer BT03 transmitter and receiver all in one. I'm going to read this to you because because I am. That's what I'm going to do. Bluetooth transmitter and receiver all in one. Specifications, Bluetooth version 4.1. That's always good because, you know, sometimes you get some of these things and you're like, Bluetooth, good deal. And then you get it and it's like Bluetooth 2 and it's got a horrible transmission rate. It's got delay. 4.1, that's good. Supported profile for A2DP, so for audio stuff. Uh, receiver working time approximately 12 hours transmitter working time approximately 13 hours battery type 250 milliamp rechargeable lithium battery and has a charging supply of a 5 volt DC and weighs about 18 grams my guess is well because it says it has a battery in it so that's kind of cool well hey let's just open it shall we let's let's diddle dallying dilly dallying dilly 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 dallying Let's screw it around. Let's open her up. Open. Simple box. Little little sheet thing here. Little brown box inside. Oh my gosh. You, so you look at you look at the picture on the box and you're like, okay, so it's gonna be like, you know, this big, right? And you look at the box and you're like, it's gonna be like this big. And then you open the box. Look at the I don't know if you guys can see that. I hope you can. It's actually packaged really nice. Look at that. That's tiny. Archer. Archer's the company. So it's got a little little power button on the front and something that says TXRX. I don't even know what that means. Maybe there's a manual inside here. Okay, so we got this. I'm just gonna put that down here. And then we, op op I'll bring this up. Open this up a little bit more. So that's that little foamy piece, which was cool. And we have a bunch of little cables. There is, you know, your three and a half mil cable. I think that's what it is, three and a half mil. We have a micro USB to USB. I'm guessing that's for Charging this somewhere. Yep, it's got a little charging dealy there. And we have a converter to go to your, so this, this, this could be actually, that could go right, right there, right? Click. So my guess is this would plug into this somewhere. Yep, right there. And this would plug into your whatever speaker that you want to use. And if you just had a normal one, you wouldn't need this piece. And then this, would be a Bluetooth receiver for me to send music from my iPhone or my your Android or whatever Bluetooth stuff you have to your stereo or speaker that actually doesn't have Bluetooth. So this is actually really cool because you can't see it, but you can see my TV, my TV back there. Yes, and there's a sound bar on it, and we it's it's a sound bar I've had for a while. It was before Bluetooth sound bars really came out and were big and you know big out there and. Prices dropped a bit, but I like it. It's actually really a nice little sound bar. It's a Vizio, so nothing like crazy, but it does the job and it sounds great, but it doesn't have Bluetooth. So when I want to stream music to it, I kind of have to go through a different kind of setup and it's kind of a pain in the butt a little bit. This may change all that. We're gonna go over there and I'm gonna see if I can get this to hook into that and we'll do that now. Okay, let's go over there. That's cool, look how tiny. Look how tiny that is. Archer. Yeah, Archer. Well, it's been a couple days since the first part of this video, which was really fast for you, because I had to charge this before I wanted to start setting it up, because I actually read the instructions, which is 
a little bit odd for me, but I figured why not? And it really says that you want to make sure this thing is fully charged before you start doing anything with it. So I'm like, yeah, I'll charge it. And of course I got busy. And so now I'm going to actually finish this video. But for you again, just bam, bam, instant. So good. So good. All right. So we're going to try this in what's called the Bluetooth receiving mode. Bluetooth receiving mode. So I've got my phone here, which is, which is good, which is important. I'm going to... Try to screen capture this so that we can maybe throw it up on the screen. We'll see how that turns out. Um, I have my pair of uh, Bose headphones here, which are not Bluetooth, of course, because you can see it has one of these. And we're going to plug it into this, put this in receiving mode. So remember at the beginning I said I don't know what TX and RX is. So TX is transmit, RX is receive. So we're receiving, so we're going to receive a signal from the Bluetooth device. If you wanted to have something, let's say you had an old iPod, that you wanted to transmit to a Bluetooth device, you would put this and plug it into your iPod and have it transmit. So it can do either, but you have to, and it says, and it, and it says, slide the mode switch to TX or RX position before switching the BTO3 on. So you have to make that decision. You can't go humming and hawing and figure out what you're gonna do after. How to use as a receiver. Select the RX mode, check. Make sure you're within one meter. Check. And power on your smartphone and activate its Bluetooth device. Check. Then connect it and the BTO3's LED indicators will flash blue slowly. So it does say I have to power it on it takes about five seconds. So let's let's fire this up, shall we? Alright, so I'm gonna go into my Bluetooth here. Because uh, make sure I can see it if it turns on. So this is in the RX mode. It says hold for five seconds, so one, two, three, four, five. Well, it's got a flash on and off pulse. It's kind of pulsing on and off. Oh, th hey, there it is. And it fla flashes blue and, and red when it's impairing. So there it is. That's excellent. And it sees it on my phone. And it says BTO3 connected. So good. So good. And the light just kind of turns off, which is kind of expected, I guess. But it says connected on my phone so that's good so i'm going to plug my headphones in and you're probably not going to be able to hear this magic it's good because now i can take this and plug it into anything that's a bluetooth speaker or sorry not a bluetooth speaker so i have a speaker over there that i can turn bluetooth fired up so let's let's put one of these in the old noggin here we are going to go into my music and again i'm going to pick something been listening to the new Five Finger Death Punch. Yeah, I like it. Especially this Gone Away. It's an old uh, an old Offspring song. Offspring. One of my favorite songs. They redid it. It's good. We're going to click on that. Hey. Hey, hey now. You guys hear me? Can you? Sorry. That's excellent. That's excellent. So these headphones, these Bose headphones, these are the QC20s, QC20Is, I can't remember. One of my favorite pairs of headphones I have. Um, noise canceling, they've you know got all the, they're just great bass sounding, they're, they're fantastic, I really like them. But not Bluetooth, and I like Bluetooth, so a lot of times I wanna be able to put this in one of my pockets or throw it in my backpack or it's not always in reach or I don't want a cable just floating around because if I'm doing something then it all gets messed up. This I can actually have tied up. I can kind of bunch the cable up, throw it in an in the inside pocket and have my phone out about if I want. Plus I can use it to hook into a lot of the speakers that we have in the house that aren't Bluetooth. So that's, that's excellent. Sound quality. Nothing wrong with sound quality. This is a Bluetooth 4. So it is sending it through nice. Is it, there's a, I didn't notice any difference in the sound quality from when this is normally plugged in versus when it's plugged in through the Bluetooth receiver. I'm gonna give this 100%, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. I think this is great. If you have a pair of headphones that you've invested a fair bit of money into and you want to be able to make them into something a little more Bluetoothy, now be aware, you are still gonna have your, Bluetooth, your, your standard cable there you just need to kind of tuck it in there or find a pocket or 
you have to be like me where you have a speaker somewhere that isn't Bluetooth that you'd like to be able to wirelessly send to it, then this works like a charm. If you're someone that says, no, no, I'm gonna be out there and I just hate having a cable, period. No exceptions, no cable, then go buy Bluetooth headphones. That's, that's what it is. But if it's like me with a speaker, just tuck this behind, get, get yourself Get yourself a little, little cape, little, little cable. It comes with a little one, I believe. And what more do you need? You're Bluetooth. You're good to go. You're off to the races. Life is a highway. I don't. I'm saying stuff now. All right, guys. I'm gonna leave you there. This video probably was way longer than I actually wanted it to be. Um, I'm gonna stop, and uh, you're gonna like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all that stuff. You're gonna do it. So go there. Hit the button, hit the bell, do all that awesomeness, and you and I will chat next time around. Yeah, leave a comment. We can chat. That's good. All right, my friends. Till next time. All right, so because this video was taken a couple of days later, I forgot that I said I was going to show you to set it up with my, with my soundbar here. So I'm going to do that right now real fast. So if you stay to the end of the video, awesome. You get to see this. It's like a bonus feature. It's like a bonus feature for you. We got, we got this. We got the, we got the archer. Archer, Archer. On my soundbar, it has uh, optical in and it has the standard RCA jacks. So, I'm gonna make sure this is on, but I have to change its input. First off, we're just gonna play something fast, ready? Maybe not input one, let's try input two. <laughs> okay, so that works. Go to a different song. Cause I don't wanna put any audio on for too long, because if not, I get, uh, you know, copyright things. Ready? Play. That's enough. Enough of that. So it works. All right, guys. For you guys that stayed around, cool. You get this, see that little thing. For those of you who didn't, well, you missed out. You missed out. All right, guys, we'll talk to you again later. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Have a good one.